Hey, my name is Mike, and this is a too long, didn't read version of the Blast Furnace on Heroic. Mechanically, this is the same fight as it is on Normal. The only difference for Heroic is that it does more damage, and your strategy execution has to be pretty good. In Phase 1, there's four different types of adds. The first one you want to kill is the Bellows Operator, because he increases the heat of the heart of the mountain by two. This makes it do more damage. The next add you want to kill is the Furnace Engineer. They throw bombs on people and also drop bombs when they die. If you pick up a bomb or get one thrown on you, you have to run to the side of the furnace and drop it on the heat regulators there. Destroying both sides' heat regulators is what starts Phase 2. The engine Engineer also likes to repair the furnace, so make sure that you're interrupting him. Security guards should be killed last, and they put this purple zone around them. Any adds caught in the circle will take significantly less damage, so always make sure there's nothing in there. And always make sure that you're not standing in here because it does damage to you. The security guards can be mind controlled by priests for phase 2. The slay elemental ability that you get should be used on the slag elementals. The fourth add is a mini boss called Foreman Feldspar and should be killed last. He does pyroclasm, which should be interrupted as often as possible because it deals a high amount of damage. He also puts rupture on random people in the raid. This creates a fire puddle underneath that player after after about 5 seconds. These should never be dropped in the raid. The foreman also does an AoE to anyone around him. The furnace also does a raid wide AoE. For phase 1, my group had 3 people on each side for the bellows operators. We then had all arranged killing one bellows operator, then switching to the other side, and then killing any other adds that were around. Make sure you're not killing the heat regulators and pushing phase 2 while you still have bellow operators up. In phase 2, there's now 3 different types of adds. Security guards continue to spawn. There's also fire callers that spawn in this phase. They do cauterized wounds which heals their target for 10% health and should always be interrupted. These should also be priority before you kill a slag elemental. Slag elementals fixate on a person and cast burn on them. You should be interrupting burn. The person that's fixated has to bring them to one of the 4 elementalists in the middle of the room. When a slag elemental dies, it does an explosion. That explosion takes off the immunity on the elementalist that's beside it. At this point, all your DPS should be focusing down the elementalist. They also put reactive earth shield on themselves which should be purged immediately because it heals them. If you get volatile fire on you, get away from people as fast as possible. You want to make sure you're killing as many adds as possible, especially the fire callers and ideally all the adds before you go on to the next elementalist. The slag elementals also don't die, they just get defeated and they will respawn. For phase 2, my entire raid stacked up on the elementalists for AoE healing. After you kill all 4 elementalists in this phase, phase 3 starts. In phase 3, the boss becomes active. The boss is your main priority and the adds should just be cleaved down. For phase 3, we all stacked up behind the boss. If someone got melt, they would drop it behind us, and then we would just move the boss a little bit forward. If you stand in it, you take damage, and it also gets bigger the longer you stand in it. There's two tank abilities in this phase. The first is called Heat. It's a stacking dot that also applies Tempered for each stack of Heat. Tempered is a stacking debuff that increases the damage you take from heat. Its stacks will never exceed the amount of heat stacks you have, but it will also never go down. So if you go up to 3 stacks of heat, your tempered stacks will always be at 3. Try not to get your tempered stacks above 3. Defensive cooldowns should be used as needed. Offensive cooldowns can be used in phase 2 for the elementalists or if you have a lot of adds. But you want to make sure to have all your offensive cooldowns, especially your big ones like heroism or lust, up for phase 3. That was a too long didn't read version of the Blast Furnace on Heroic. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.